Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. Michael Fisher unboxed us the Nexus 10 just a little while ago. If you missed that video, make sure you stick around to the end of this one. I'll give you a link directly to it. But today, I want to show you a comparison between the Nexus 10, the Motorola Zoom, and the Nexus 7. Let's go take a look. So first off, we've got the brand new Nexus 10. If you haven't had a chance to hold one of these things yet, I've just got to mirror what Michael Fisher said. This thing is amazingly light. This back plastic is incredibly grippy. In fact, I've got this test here where you just hold it on your hand. That's over 45 degrees. I'm not holding on to any edge. It, it's just not moving. It's great. I love this feel. It's lightweight. You've got enough room, enough bezel to put your thumbs just all around really nice. But what we want to do now is compare this to a couple other tablets. So the other tablets that Google has, of course, is the Nexus 7. And then they've also got kind of the uh, the redheaded stepchild right here, which is the Motorola Zoom. Now, this isn't necessarily a Nexus device, but it is a, uh, a launch device or a launch partner device where Motorola, Google got together and launched Honeycomb, the redheaded stepchild of uh, Android versions. But we're not here to talk about software. Let's talk about hardware. First of all, you can see that the zoom is just a little bit smaller in uh, front dimensions than the zoom is, which is really surprising because in hand it feels a lot smaller. A lot of that, get you a side shot here, a lot of that is because of the thickness. So if you take a look at the thickness, you can definitely see the difference there. The zoom which is this one, I'll move it over here, has a nice rounded back. So it doesn't feel quite as thick as it looks. So on the edge, you can see it's, it's not nearly as thick as it is over here in the middle. The zoom still feels nice in hand, but the Nexus 10 just feels so much nicer. It feels solid. It feels uh, like a high quality construction, even though it's so thin. Okay, so on the Nexus 10, we've got a 10.05 inch display at 2560 by 1600 compared to the Zoom, which has a 10.1 inch 1280 by 800 display. The pixel density on the Zoom is 150 PPI, whereas the pixel density on the 10 is 300 PPI. So about twice as many pixels and twice the, uh, the density of those pixels on the Nexus 10. Sticking with the 10 for a minute, we've got a 1.7 gigahertz dual core Exynos 5 processor compared to the Zoom's 1 gigahertz dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor. So a good comparison as far as size goes, but not much else. Let's switch gears and look at the Nexus 7. So here we've got the, the Nexus 7. Obviously significantly smaller. That's the difference between a 7 inch and a 10 inch. So let's get right to that. We've got a 7 inch display up here running 1280 by 800 and about 216 PPI. The processor inside of this is 1.2 gigahertz, but it's quad core. The fact that it's an NVIDIA Tegra 3 is what makes up the difference between the 1.7 dual core versus the 1.2 quad core. There's also that speed difference in there. Looking around the Nexus 7, you've got this nice dimpled back that you have up at the top of the Nexus 10. This is relatively grippy, but it has no comparison to the grippiness of the Nexus 10. If we were to do that 45 degree angle, I don't know if I can quite do that because it's still a little slippery. You still have to kind of hold on to it. No rear facing camera here, volume buttons and whatnot and power over there. So kind of in the same location, although a different orientation. The reason for that you're supposed to hold your seven like this in portrait view. So volume up is on the top, volume down is on the bottom versus on your 10 when you're holding it like this and your volume slider goes that way, your volume up is over to the right and your volume down is over to the left. As far as which one I'd like to carry around in my pocket, well, obviously neither one of these is going to fit well in a pocket but they're both, both very portable. This one especially because it's so lightweight and so thin, but feels so durable. So there you go, a quick look at all three of the tablets from Google. 
the Zoom, the Nexus 10, and the Nexus 7, how they kind of stack up and compare with one another. We're gonna keep working on our full review, so make sure if you haven't subscribed to our video channel that you do that so you don't miss out on that and of course the videos that we're going to have leading up to it. If you wanna follow us over on Twitter so you don't miss out on any of that, we are at PocketNowTweets. For PocketNow, showing off tablets, I'm Joe Levi, thanks for watching.